tied for fourth place with St. Francis U and Mount St. Mary's. The inbounds pass to Davon Barnett for the first two points of the game. Courtesy of Phil with 18.6 points a game. Gaetano inside for a cutting Evan Kelly along the baseline. And Kelly lays it in, his first two points of the game. Henson on the block now for Sanat against Nowitzki. The hook is good. And Craig Sanat, 4-2 shoe. Nowitzki inside, the turnaround left-hand hook. Will roll in on the home three-point shooting. Making just about four and a half a game. JoJo Cooper team. Rolls one pass Barnett, 50-50 ball. It's Broom against the shot clock. Foul zone! Caught it in the reverse lay-in. Broom will take a three and hit. Kane Broom from downtown. With a behind. And it's the Pios back on top. Anybody playing defense? Inside Amon. He lays it in. Game. He's given high energy minutes to Sacred Heart. Showed a great ability to crash the board, especially defensively. No. Glowiak trying to come off the screen, but Burton defends him well. Now Glowiak from way downtown, and Steve Glowiak hits. It's about an end. Ends it out. Glowiak from deep. In and out. Offensive rebound. Chris Robinson for the putback. You got to just tell it. Get in there, will you? Henson gets it down low for Amon. Good and one. Davon Barnett cannot believe that he just had a foul called on. Five on the floor for Sacred Heart. Kane Broom, the take and the make. Kane Broom. Allen trying to set a pick. Now he posts up. The flip inside from Broom to Allen for the dunk. And Jordan Allen. JoJo Cooper, the throw in to Corey Henson, driving and laying it in as he sneaks to turn two points out of it. Cooper right in. The wild left hand. JoJo Cooper lazily threw one back for Burton and it actually hit Evan Kelly in the back of the hand who steals it, drives and scores. Foul zone the rebound and he leads the fast break. Evan Kelly leaves it for Broom for the dunk. And seconds later into the game, the inbound to Amon, he misses. Here's Glowiak two on one to Broom up and under the scoop. Gaetano against Henson. He throws up the lob for Barnett inside. Cooper finds Burton. Burton the three, fading away. Splash. Allen underneath for Evan Kelly. His shot rejected. Saunders up the floor against Gaetano. Saunders lays it in. Six to shoot for Gaetano. He'll drive. Gaetano fading away. Picks a great time. Burton drives on Glowiak, drives, scoops, lays it in. And Marcus Burton, three points. Broom, Glowiak for three, answer! Steve Glow. Kelly on to Allen, he's got Glowiak underneath, but Allen will take it and make it. Jordan Allen to the ice cream shop for scoops and one. Jordan. Ed Mead into the block for Amon. Fading away and hit. He shakes on Ed Mead, loses it. Loose ball on the floor and picked up by Amon. Underneath for Ed Mead. The lay in is good. Cheer. As the Pioneers move it to Barnett for the dunk. Barnett down to six. Gaetano, no look underneath. Evan Kelly the reverse on a truck. Kelly gets by JoJo Cooper, takes it, puts it up, and good. By court at the William H. Pitt Center. Sacred Heart wins it 86 75, and it was a great team effort. Five pioneers in double figures, but our player of the game is senior Evan Kelly with 19 points tonight. Hot shooting from the first half, and you carried it through the second half. I thought a real consistent effort tonight from you and your whole team. You have some fun out there tonight? Oh, yeah, it's always fun when you win, especially the way we did. Uh, we came off a rough week last week. We just wanted to bounce back with a good week of practice, and it showed on the court today. Yeah, you guys are at your best when you're moving the ball and getting everyone involved. And as I mentioned, five in double figures. You had some assists as well today, too. How much was the team feeling it? And do you get a sense when you are moving the ball, like you did tonight, and getting everyone involved, that things are on your on your side? Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we preach team, preach the extra pass. And once everybody else gets involved, 
you know you're going to get an open shot. So I know I hit the open man, and I know they're going to hit me back. And, you know, it has been a battle all season in conference. I mean, every game saved for two or three has been right down to the wire. Tonight, a pretty convincing win, a good effort from Wagner for sure, but you're able to get a little bit of revenge from last week and even the series against them one and one. How important was it to get a win against the team that already has taken you down earlier this year? Oh, it's important because they took us out. They took it to us on their court. They kind of beat us up, so we wanted to show that we weren't going to back down, especially on our home court, and we got the job done today. You got a hungry Bryant team coming in. They're going to say the same thing probably about you guys for going out of their court, but you have this to build off and go into Saturday's game. What kind of confidence does this give you going into that battle with the Bulldogs? Um, it's kind of familiar because we won our FDU game before we played Bryant too. We went up there, so we got to win. On, we got to win today, so we're, hope, we're looking to go two and zero on Saturday. Great job, Evan. Thanks a lot. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Randy. Evan Kelly, senior captain. When we come back, we'll have the head coach Anthony Latina after this. Sacred Heart winning 86-75 over Wagner on NEC front row. Here at Coach Bike Court, the William H. Pitt Center with Coach Anthony Latina. Happy guy tonight. You get five guys in double figures and a great team victory. You're at your best when you're involving everybody. And tonight, you have, as I say, five guys really contribute on the stat sheet. Everybody contributed uh, with a good defensive effort, I thought, tonight as well. And uh, you must be pretty happy with a, a total team effort, I would imagine, tonight. I was pleased with the way we shared the ball, the way we pushed the ball offensively. We had 16 assists. Only 12 turnovers. Uh, our rebounding was outstanding in the first half. Not so good in the second half. We, now, they're the best rebounding team in the league. We're the second best. They're at plus seven, and we, we, we matched them, but we were plus eight at the half. So I thought if we had rebounded in the second half like we did the first half, we would have won that game going away a little bit a little bit easier. But winning games are tough, and, and we needed to win really, really badly. And, and I'm so pleased. You know, Evan Kelly, I thought, was very efficient with his game. You know, he was eight for 12, eight for 10 from two-point range. If he puts those two threes in his pocket, he's eight for 10, which is a heck of a number. So pleased with him. I thought Kane had a bounce back game, and then Phil did a good job running the team. So we got some good contributions. I thought when we were struggling to score a little bit, Jordan Allen made some big plays. So like you said, it was a, a team effort. Tevin Falzone got his usual eight or nine rebounds in, in 18 minutes, which is, is good. So uh, we needed every bit of that, and we couldn't stop him at the end, which was a little disappointing. We got to do a little bit better job with our, our drive line defense at the end, but um, again, you know, the wins are tough to come by, so we'll, we'll, we'll take it. And, you know, it's been a battle in so many games this year. The majority of the conference games, they fought hard at the end. It ends up being an 11-point win for you. But you were in control for a, a great deal of the second half or yeah. before they started to come back. How nice was it to be able to, you know, get everybody involved and also have a little bit of breathing room there? Yeah, no, it was good. I, I don't know what the closest they got in the second half. But I, was it eight, maybe seven? I don't think. Yeah, nine. So we kept them at bay, which is pretty good. You usually a team eventually makes a run. So to, for them to get as close as only as nine was, was pretty good on our part, uh, which means we were scoring because we weren't getting as many stops as I would have liked. But we continued to score, and, and uh, we found a way to get it done. And at this time of year, that's what it's about is finding a way because Saturday's game is going to be completely different. So the, the thing is just find a way to get the job done, which we did. Now we got to regroup, get a good night's sleep tonight, start preparing for a very, very good Bryant team, which I have no idea what they did tonight. But still, they're a team that – one at Robert Morris, which is not easy to do, and, and you know, they're one of the better teams in the league. When you do, and I'll finish with this, have a, a, a nice complete effort like that, what does that do for a team's confidence going into that big game against Bryant on Saturday? Well, confidence is very important. You know, we, got, we have to feel comfortable that we can make the plays, um, that, that, that when we take shots, they're supposed to go in. When we take free throws, they're supposed to go in. And so we made some plays there. I don't know what we shot from the field. I don't have 56% from the field. That's a heck of a job, you know. And I, that takes some confidence. Now that takes good shot selection, but confidence. You know, from the free throw line, still got to get better, but 18 for 27. Believe it or not, 67% is 10 points higher than our team average. So we're heading in the right direction in those areas, and, and hopefully we can continue that on uh, Saturday. Real positive signs and a victory tonight. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Anthony Latina joining us here on the postgame show. We'll wrap things up here from the Pitt Center. It's the Pioneers win this one, 86-75 against Wagner. Back to wrap it up after this on NEC Front Row.